Brian Wood is not home when somebody he doesn't know decides to enter his home in Belen, New Mexico. All he can do is watch helplessly as they violate his home, walking out with item after item of things he's worked hard for. Knowing the police are on the way gives Brian some relief, but it doesn't do much good when somebody enters the same room as your pets and you have no idea what they intend to do to them. The intruder doesn't seem to care about his cat. He's done this many times before and is so at ease that he makes a phone call. When he walks around a stranger's home, talking to someone about the items he's taking while ransacking drawers and jacket pockets, by the time he's through, he's standing right in front of a security camera. He doesn't even seem phased or worried about getting caught as he palms it and leaves. Cops arrived minutes too late, but he was caught the next day. He makes no attempt to conceal his face or fingerprints, so I'm not surprised. If Brian didn't have this creepy encounter recorded on live stream, it would have been a lot harder. Going to medical school presents many challenges, high tuition, debt, and the occasional wild animal encounter. If you were coming up the steps and saw a black panther animal barreling at you, you would almost certainly run. Big mistake, it's already in motion and your panic would trigger its instincts. You're not getting far. The panther starts to go into someone's room, but something makes it think twice about going in. It probably doesn't like being cornered with one exit and chooses not to go further inside. The college in Karnataka, India went into lockdown as a result of this scary CCTV video. Yeah, I guess that would do it. I should point out that this isn't all that uncommon in schools. Across India and I found some other creepy videos too. Here's a leopard at a college in Nainital. Thankfully, the only prey he finds is a car passing by. But imagine a college student looking at their feet walking along this fence. They'd never see it coming. I just hope everybody's alright. Luke either has a problem with his car's motion detection system or his house is haunted. No in-betweens. so I know it's probably mistaking the can for a person because they are about the same size, but why does it suddenly do this? The trash can obviously doesn't move, and yet the icon abruptly turns towards him after 20 seconds of recording. It doesn't turn left, it doesn't look behind, it looks straight his way for no reason. Is this a real ghost sighting video or a glitch with his car? A man in dark clothing walks straight up to the bedroom window and kneels between some bushes to look inside. He is worried about getting seen and gets lower when a car passes by. He thinks that he is well concealed from every angle, but he's caught on camera from above. A man in a dark hoodie seen lurking near a window just after 4.30 this morning. He walks straight to the bedroom window. The owner of this house comes out and demands to know what he's doing looking at his wife through their bedroom window at 4.30 in the morning. The stranger says that he's being chased and needs help. At 51 seconds, you can see the shine of something in the husband's hand, maybe a phone, and just when it looks like a confrontation is about to go down, the stranger decides to run away. I don't know if he is telling the truth or not. If he was being chased, then maybe the car headlights were from the people chasing him. That would explain why he went to this person's window instead of a door to avoid getting caught. 
He might have ran away because he was being chased and they weren't helping him. But if he needed help, he could have knocked on the window instead of standing outside of the window for so long. So with that in mind, I think he's lying about being chased. This happened in Riverside, California, where looking into a window on private property without consent of the owner is against the law. If this man is found, he could face up to six months behind bars and up to $1,000 in fines. What do you think was going on that night? Was he trying to get away from people, or was he himself up to no good? No one knows who this man was or what became of him that night. If he was being chased, then maybe they, whoever they were, caught him. I hope this man is brought to justice for his creepy actions. South Korean ghost hunter Yoon Soon has caught some really weird things on tape while exploring this abandoned house of spirits. His method of ghost hunting is to pretend he does not believe in the spirits, which he hopes will anger them enough to show themselves one way or another. I've never seen somebody use reverse psychology on the spirit world, but it seems to work just as well on them as it does on the living. It could be the wind moving the curtains, but the K2 meter lighting up shortly after has me thinking it's a ghost. Uni Swoon verifies the paranormal activity in this haunted place with other ghost hunter equipment. It's creepy, but notice there seems to be a lot of wind judging from the way this material is flapping. I was wondering if a strong breeze could set off this motion detector. Let me know. The investigator is very thorough and further confirms this place is haunted with facial recognition software. After his camera detects a face, it starts to flash green where it just was. Is this strange glitch a sign of residual paranormal energy? This is also an object moving back and forth on the door in its wake, although that could be the wind. When he moves the phone over the stroller, he sees a spirit protecting it. It's not from just one angle either. It's whenever it passes over the object, which makes me think this ghost sighting video is real. I guess even the spirit world is protective of its young. Ghost Hunter Simply Serret has a profoundly paranormal experience while exploring a haunted house in India. He sets a wind-up toy on the ledge of a window as a way for a ghost to communicate its presence. They are kind of goofing around when suddenly things get very serious and very creepy. <laughs> They think laughter is coming from the window, but then they hear more scary stuff from above. <laughs> they run into the room with the wind-up toy, only to hear more noises following close behind. <laughs> Running footsteps sends them rushing out of the house, and as they flee, the wind-up toy moves by itself. He holds it up to the camera to make sure the paranormal evidence is caught on tape. He has one hand on the camera and one hand holding the toy. There's no tie for him to have wound it up. <laughs> and the wind-up toy somehow continues to move on its own as they run into the forest away from the abandoned haunted house that has scared them so terribly bad. Ooh, 
The roads in Guwahati, India are apparently haunted. Just ask Abinash Kishore, aka the Mind Hunter. He pulls up behind a vehicle with an extreme background story that I'll get into in just a second. First, try to translate what he says about this truck, and then I'll tell you what I was able to research. Guys, Huri Thakote Thakote, Bhud Bisari Thakote Thakote. Aikon Hanmukhat ki gayi dekha paise na? Prabha bhal ke dekhai diye sun. Aikon ola pakwai dia. Okay, so get this. I did some deep digging and found out that this truck is actually the only hearse service offered in the area. Before this company came to be, people used to carry the departed to the nearest graveyard. As an extra bonus, on this blog post, I found information on three extremely creepy but also saddening comments requesting the service as soon as possible. That means within this metal container could be someone passed away. So when he finds not one, but two of these vehicles lined up in the middle of nowhere, he knows that something really bad must have happened, and he better not stick around for long. Long. Unfortunately for him, the time to leave safely has already passed. <laughs> The mind hunter's assistant gets scared and drives off, but the mind hunter will have none of it and makes him return. There is another brief sighting until the figure fades away into darkness. This alleged ghost sighting caught on video could simply be a third member of the group, but since it happens not far from where they found the abandoned vehicles that could have had passed away people inside, it could be real. Paranormal investigator Rochelle G goes exploring this haunted abandoned house and experiences what she calls decades of anger. Built in 1920, this place could never keep a family for more than a few years before something terrible happened to them. Police were always involved. Something about this house makes people upset, volatile. The longer they stay here, the worse it gets. Rochelle can feel the paranormal energy as soon as she sets foot within this haunted place. Abandoned are the families, but not their memories or their presence. She finds a room that's creepy than the others, one that's been barricaded from the inside. Listen closely, what you're about to hear is one of the scariest EVPs ever caught on camera. Somebody has pushed a dresser under the knob of this door, like they wanted to keep a family member from coming in to get them. When Rochelle opens the door, a creepy, disembodied voice floats in her ear and whispers, Hey. This room looks like a remodeled front porch that was only halfway finished before the family vacated. Above her is an unfinished attic space that makes many people feel creeped out. There's no way to get up there, so she keeps exploring this room and finds more creepy things caught on camera. Dozens of family photos next to an old blue chair. Leaving family photos is weird enough, but why in a giant unorganized pile? It looks like somebody thumbed through them, one by one, while sitting on the chair, perhaps looking at pictures of their family members one last time, while waiting for the police to arrive. It's a creepy thought and we'll never know the real explanation, and when Rochelle tries to communicate, the spirits are too angry to cooperate. Do you need help? If this video is real, and I think it is, then this is one haunted abandoned house that should have stayed hidden. I doubt anything good happens to those who dare go exploring its hateful walls. Bike Jin goes exploring haunted places in an undisclosed Arabic speaking country and comes across a house I think I might have seen before in other videos. A house that should stay hidden but always gets explored. I think a lot of paranormal exploration channels come here because so much scary stuff happens almost every time. Weird things caught on camera like this. 
بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم he waits until the flames die down and takes a few hesitant steps into the haunted bedroom. I don't understand why he turns his light off during the scariest moment because that's when you would need your flashlight the most. It doesn't seem like a normal reaction, and the only reason I can think of is to let somebody set a controlled flame as part of a prepared stunt, which means this video, however creepy it may be, also has a strong chance of not being paranormal. I'll keep an eye out for other paranormal videos from this location, and if you know the name and country of this abandoned house, please let me know. Any information would be a great help. A parenting channel called The Mommy Wayopedia has thousands of subscribers who are looking for heartwarming family videos. Paranormal content is not what they seek, and I don't think she's playing around when she uploaded a rather realistic ghost sighting video for fans to analyze. So here's the background story on this video. She's been seeing some weird things on CCTV camera for the past week or so, but never had the phone nearby to record. and does have a memory card for the camera, so she waited near the CCTV monitor for a couple of days for the paranormal entity to return, and this creepy sighting of a mysterious figure is what she has since caught on camera. The mother tries to keep the fear out of her voice as she tells her son to keep reading a book out loud. Oh, oh I hear you read the book, baby. Okay. She doesn't want to scare him. She can't take her eyes off what she sees. Seated on the ground facing the courtyard on the first floor is this exquisitely eerie ghost sighting. A woman with long hair and a gown. She's across from the main entrance waiting for them to come out. The see-through figure does not move, but look closely and at 10 seconds, you'll see this object across from the ghost is moving all by itself. Or maybe it's the wind. The mommy Wayopedia has no idea what this ghost wants from her or her family and is seeking advice on what to do next. I would say this is a camera glitch, but she's been seeing it on different monitors across different places, so it appears to be an actual ghost. With that in mind, the only thing left to do is either confront it or hope it goes away, and I'm not sure if either is going to get her any peace. A ghost hunting channel in India called Yakayatha knows of a haunted railway where plenty of lives have been lost and therefore plenty of paranormal evidence to be found. K2 meter in hand, they walk down the paranormal path and wait for a sign. Occasionally they feel watched and stop to scan the horizon but nothing is there. Soon a general feeling of unease becomes so unbearable that they stop to put down the K2 meter. They know a life was lost here and a ghost is nearby. They can feel it. And then... The ghost hunters aren't surprised to see the K2 meter spike hard for the very first time all night. They stand around for a long time staring into the darkness and getting nothing on camera. But just when they're about to give up... Kabir, bhai, saamne dekho. They go a few steps forward but stop when they realize the ghost has disappeared, or at least that's what they claim. They should have kept running if they wanted to prove it really was a ghost, but they were so creeped out by that point that maybe they didn't want to. It's easy to say that this is fake because they don't go forward far enough, but you never know how you'd react until you're the one having a ghost sighting. This paranormal ghost sighting video could be real. A paranormal channel called Gene Ghost Bangladesh goes exploring one of the most haunted abandoned places in his country, an old house in the woods where scary things happen to anyone who dares enter. Scary things like disembodied voices speaking from within. Oh, 
And strange noises coming from where no one is standing. And living vines move across walls. Watch this part and tell me if you think he was passing out from fear or a spiritual encounter. He recovers and they think they see a shadow figure looking around the corner. In front of the house is an all-seeing eye next to a doorway that spontaneously ignites in flames. Across from the flaming archway is this hand-painted altar with five candles on each side of a star. And outside could be the red handprint of a recent sacrifice. The drawing of an evil looking goat headed creature on two legs gives me a sinking feeling and I really don't like how a large white orb floats into it at 33 minutes and 20 seconds. The flames burn taller when they see this figure on the wall as if the two events are somehow connected. They return to the altar and find creepy dolls have been pierced with steel wire through the head and that's when... <laughs> There's a scream and the creepy dolls begin moving on their own while everyone is standing out of the room. They don't zoom in all the way so maybe it's on a string or at least I hope so because if not then that is some really scary stuff. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. A Pakistani health and beauty channel called Beautify With Me recently caught a creepy sighting on video that has left them horrified. A hooded figure in black robes is caught on multiple CCTV cameras haunting the outside of their house. It looks pretty scary until the figure walks by the first camera, at which point you can see they are wearing sneakers or some kind of modern looking footwear that doesn't exactly match the rest of their spooky outfit. Still, this video is a major departure from the rest of their channel, and this is a really weird video to fake a day before Christmas, so maybe it's real. Not necessarily a real ghost video, but maybe a creepy stranger encounter caught on CCTV, whatever it is. The mysterious figure hasn't shown up on her security camera since and hopefully never will. The police department of Davie, Florida released this home surveillance tape of a super sketchy man who first climbed a tree and then went through an unlocked gate. He ducks under a garbage can and gawks inside a window.